Hi, this is Fabian from Sun Valve Val Bodies. We're here with Jeff Roberson today from Jeff's Transmissions. He's going to show us how to scan an 09G valve body. This is an 06 Volkswagen Bug. Set us up, Jeff. How, what are we doing first here? Well, we're using a Maxi DOS, and we're going to go to the system, and we're going to do control units in the drivetrain so we can check to see if there's going to be any codes in the transmission and in, in the engine. It's looking for data. Yeah, it usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, so now we're in the transmission computer, so we're going to check out and see if we're going to see any codes going on. And at this time, there's no codes. And what the problem with this transmission is, just like most Volkswagens, is when they're cold, they shift fine until they get hot, and they have some shifting issues. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to live data so we can see what the transmission is doing while we drive it. And as everybody knows on Volkswagens you have to select what type of group that you're looking for in each section. And some of the other scanners doesn't work as well as this one because this one right here can give you description as well as what it's doing at the time. So now we can go ahead and drive the vehicle. So are we looking at the solenoids working right now? Right now we're looking at output RPM sensor and input sensor. We're looking at the speed. What I like to do is I like to just scroll down from all the groups so I can see how everything's working. Okay, so now we're coming up to the shift solenoids, and then you can see as the transmission shifts, it starts pulsing milliamps through the system. We're coming up to a stop now. Walk us through the gears as we shift up. So as the transmission shifts, it'll run anywhere from 900 to 400 milliamps to pulse that solenoid so you get a nice smooth shift. That's how you know that the computer is working properly. When you start getting real rough or garage shifts and your milliamps are at the same signal that it's supposed to be, then you know you have shift solenoid problems because they're hanging up. Yeah, this is one of the problems that our customers have is they're not they don't know how to use their scanner properly to identify if the TCM is working right. Communicating, in other words, with the solenoids. And now we're looking at battery voltage. Battery voltage is running at 13.7, which is ideal for this vehicle. You can run anywhere from 13.2 to 13.8 volts. We're going to be making a left here. Uh, Jeff, maybe you can walk us through the gears as we go and count them off. So right now we're starting out with first. first gear. And then you can see how the computer automatically starts pulsing the solenoids to get nice smooth shifts. Now we're in third, going up to fourth. Now we're in fourth gear and then going into fifth. Smooth. And now we're in sixth. And then we're at full lockout. So as we're going down, you should also see the gears going down and the solenoids initiating. Yep, you can see the solenoids pulsing. So right now, this thing is performing perfectly until we get it operating temperature. Put down a little bit. Go ahead and hit passing gear now, so we can see how the solenoids function. Everything pulse all the way to 400 milliamps and then jump right back up to 900. 
So this valve body shifting correctly at this point. Correct. We'll try it one more time. We'll hang a U-turn and start out with first gear, and then you call them off as we're as we're going. <clears throat> I'll see if I can get us at a dead stop. It's tough. You ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, Joe. So we're in first, second gear, third gear. Now you got a double shift right there in the third. That right there telling us we're having we're starting to get a solenoid issue. Where it pulses back and forth and almost like you have an engine miss where it starts to buck on you. Now, will, will an engine miss give you a bad transmission problem? An engine miss can, so that's why it's up to the technician to figure out if we're having an engine miss versus a shifting issue. That's why it's real critical to have the scanner so you can visually see what's going on. You can even pull this up on a graph where you can see the solenoids. And that right there, you can determine if you're having engine misses. Because on the shift solenoids, it will fluctuate and flutter. And you'll be able to see that on a graph. And you can do the same thing with engine misses. You can pull up all your cylinders and drive it. If you think that you're having a miss versus a shifting issue, then you can see this same graph on the engine side. And if you're having a miss, it'll fluctuate in here. And then you'll know it's an engine miss versus the shifting issue. Right. So it's very crucial that you understand your scanner and all the options it has so you can utilize the tool the best as it could to exactly. get the readings that you're looking for. Exactly. Right. Here, let's start out one more dead stop and then we'll count them out. So you ready? Okay. Yep. Back in the first. Got a good second gear. I see in third gear you're starting to get that flutter, it's starting to be more pronounced. A little double shift. So shape. that tells us we're, we're definitely having a valve body issue. So at this time I would just go ahead and uh, call a belt, order a valve body for this car, and then we can do the test again once the valve body is installed. Excellent, excellent. Anything that y'all should check before they go determining that the valve body is bad? Well the main thing is you got to check the condition of the fluid. When you drop the pan, you want to cut the filter open and make sure you don't have any clutch material at all in that filter. Gotcha. If you do, then you could be having clutch problem or torque converter problem. And you definitely don't want to change the valve body then, because then all you're going to do is contaminate the new valve body. All right. Well, thanks very much, Jeff, for the lesson today. I'm sure we'll have some more in the future. Thanks again.